I'm Zhi Yi with Xinhua News. I'm now in Yangquan City, North China's Shanxi province. Yangquan was once famous for its coal mine. While in the process of uh, green transformation and development, this resource-based city implements the development strategy of digital economy and aims at building a city of smart cars. In front of me, there is a driverless bus, and it's about to start. So follow me and check it out. To some extent, Yangquan is a small mountain city because it has large slopes, diverse signal lamps, and complex road conditions. The reason why this project was carried out in this city is that Baidu has provided a lot of technical support, and also the test data from Yangquan will provide strong support for Baidu's autonomous driving technology verification, test evaluation, and future applications. 通过呢，对我们五十个交通路口进行路测基础设施的改造呢，来形成一个呃自动驾驶的测试以及运营的一个环境。那么我们这个路测基础设施的智能化改造呢，也就是通过在原有的这个交通信号杆柱上加装我们的感知单元，包括这个雷达摄像头、计算单元以及通信单元，让我们的道路呢变得更加的智慧化。来配合我们这个多类型的自动驾驶车辆呢，构建起点、线、面贯通融合的一个全场景自动驾驶出行服务体系。OK， now let's go to take a driverless taxi. In fact, there are ten kinds of driverless vehicles, including the bus, taxi, security car, new retail car, and logistic car, etc. At present, the driverless new retail car and the, the taxis have been put into commercial use. Okay, let's go. In fact, in June 2021, Yangquan has become the first uh, prefecture-level city in China to open autonomous driving tests in all areas. Two years ago, they tested autonomous driving vehicles in only five kilometers road. While last year, they have enlarged the area to the whole city, reaching a distance of about 200 kilometers. 首先，在咱们的这个车的外部啊，头顶是一个激光雷达，有效探测距离呢可以达到两百四十米。它能够识别我们道路上的行人呀、车辆呀，以及这个信号灯和道道路这个指示标识。在我们的这个车的左右两端呢，还各有一个白色的圆盘装置 GPS。那么它和我们的高精地图呢，可以实现一个点云定位，定位的精度能够达到厘米级，是目前的最高级别。嗯。We can see that there is a man sitting in the driving cab, but he's not the driver. He's called the security officer. He's equipped in the car to take over the car manually in case of emergency. 